Hey everyone, and welcome to SMNP Reviews. My name is Kelsey, and I am a family nurse practitioner. My background is in primary care, and I'm excited to share today's video about headaches. If you want a deeper dive into how to diagnose and manage headaches and other neurological conditions, you should definitely check out one of our review courses. And for even more content, go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay up to date on our latest videos. Let's go ahead and get started. So how do we determine the type of headache? This is where a great patient history will help. We want to know, is the headache bilateral or unilateral? How long does the headache last? Does the headache appear gradually or suddenly? What are the alleviating and aggravating factors? And are there any associated symptoms like nausea, vomiting, photophobia, eye tearing, or change in vision? The answers to these questions can either help reassure you that you're dealing with a primary headache or give you a clue to consider another more serious origin. A neurological exam is an essential assessment and should include cranial nerve testing, a fundoscopic exam, and observation of gait. A physical exam can also help rule out differentials, such as a hypertensive crisis, or a skin assessment can help look for a rash like in herpes zoster, palpation of the temporal artery to assess for temporal arteritis, or even assessing the temporomandibular joint, TMJ, for signs of a disorder. Today, we are going to focus on the two most common primary headaches, migraine and tension type. Do y'all know which of the primary headaches are most commonly seen in the outpatient setting? That's right, migraines. So how do migraines present? Migraines are most often characterized by a unilateral presentation, although they can present bilaterally, with a pulsating, throbbing quality that is moderate to severe in intensity. It can be associated with nausea, vomiting, photophobia, or phonophobia, and may be worsened with physical activity. Now, migraines can occur with or without an aura. Remember that an aura can be visual, auditory, sensory, or motor in nature. The headaches typically last four hours to several days. How are we going to treat migraines? Well, it depends on a few different factors. For infrequent, mild migraines, a reasonable first-line medication is an NSAID, such as ibuprofen, Motrin, or naproxen, a leaf. For moderate to severe headaches, our first-line medication is going to be a triptan like sumatriptan or imatrex. Triptans are an effective abortive medication when taken at the first sign of a migraine. However, triptans should not be used more than 10 days a month due to the risk of overuse headache. There are also first-line prophylaxis treatment for migraines, such as beta blockers like propanolol, tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline, selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, like venlafaxine or Effexor, and anticonvulsants like topramate or topamax. Patients should be educated on avoidance of triggers, regular exercise, sleep, and diet. Okay, now let's talk about tension type headaches. Tension type headaches can be both acute or chronic in nature and are typically bilateral. They are characterized by a mild to moderate pain with a dull or pressure-like quality and are non-pulsating. Oftentimes, the headache is associated with muscle tenderness of the head and neck, also known as pericranial muscles. The headaches are not aggravated by physical activity and are not typically associated with nausea, photophobia, or phonophobia. Treatment of tension type headaches is generally effective with an over-the-counter analgesic like ibuprofen or acetaminophen. Education on avoiding triggers should be provided such as too much caffeine, lack of sleep, or even stress. And that's a wrap on headaches in primary care. 
Thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope I made headaches a little less of a headache. If you are interested in learning more or about other neurological conditions, make sure to check out our review course. I also want to highlight that we have a free, awesome community of students who are prepping for board exams just like you, so make sure to check out our Facebook group. Links are in our description. Here's our references for this video, and make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Until next time!